across it though. We can, we, everyone's taking photos, so I guess you can take some photos. Ooh. Make sure your sound is down though, just in case. So what, did you, what did you think of that? How do you think? How can we use? I, like, I the learned, we I've learned, about? I've yeah. learned more, and it can like help us structure our piece better. Great. How might you do that? Like using ideas of it and what ideas? What they used. What did they use? Tapping. tapping. So we've got tapping rhythms. What else? Instruments. Instruments. What about the phasing technique? What did you think about that? It was a good story. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. I can't help me think. Well, we've got our tablet computers, of course. How do you think we can use those to replicate some of these ideas? We could record it and then, like, stop it and stop it. Yeah, we could, we could use our tablet computers to record your music and then you could play along with your music slightly out of time with it. We could experiment with all those ideas you had going on on stage. Brilliant. Jess, you said there's something earlier, you can do, find out some more about it. What, what, did, what was your particular inspiration there? Um, I just like to help the young artists manage to like, uh, get involved with the old people and manage to like, get the basics of minimalism and to be able to work with it and make up their own ideas. So the teenagers of, of King's Cross, the King's Cross Collective, working with the London Symphony yes, to make new was, music. I thought it was a really good bond between older students and, old, and younger students and it also like helps because you can give ideas and also the professional musicians, of course, from yeah. the London Symphony Etta. So, of course, they were working with the students, weren't they? Is that something you might like to try and get involved with? Yeah, I think it is. I'd like to be able to like, um, try and play with different people in different ages and try and work out different styles and also to be able to play um, his work that would be really amazing. Yes, well, so give me a highlight. Give me a highlight of that. Of that uh, Concert. What was your favourite moment? Um, I think I liked it when the clarinetist came out playing his piece and all the other ones were in the backing track because it made it more like visual for you. If you close your eyes, you could like tell. So it was like a big group on stage. And of course, you being a clarinetist, you could re-relate to what he was doing, couldn't you? Fantastic. Thank you for that, Jess.